on what the drills would engage in. Uh, this is just unbelievably macabre and evil. So shall we burn thee once again this night, and in the flames that eat thine effigy, we shall read the sign that Midsummer sets us free. He shall burn me once again. <laughs> Please, well, we're going to confront George Bush on Bohemian Grove. George Bush Jr. had been announcing on CNN, MSNBC, on television last night and today, for the first time in history, they're admitting it, why the vice presidential decision was made at Bohemian Grove. George Bush Sr., the former president, and Golden Bowen, and others. So now they're just throwing it in everybody's face. Uh, we've broken the story over a week ago. July 15th, we were in Northern California. They're trying to ignore it. George Bush is down here at the uh, governor's mansion across the street from the Capitol about to announce Dick Cheney uh, as his vice presidential running mate. We're going to go blow the party for him and get the information out to people. We're not going to stop. We're getting in their face. Know that we're fully aware of their activities. This is massive. This is how George Bush dresses up. Right here. We got him on tape. This is how they dress up. Right here. In red and black robes. A little more pointy though, like the Klan. We got him on tape. This is how George Bush dresses. Right here when he's in the Bohemian Grove. This is how he dresses. We've already put it on television. Absolutely disgusting. George Bush isn't a conservative. He's not for family values. He is nothing but a Luciferian twin. A Luciferian twin, Bush. We may be the defeat on the human population. We say no here. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Fall with the Constitution and death to the new world order. We stand firm. We stand strong for America against your evil, Bush. And we're going to get this story out. And we're going to continue to push it. Because the truth will not be hidden. That you are part of a 3,000 plus year old devil cult for the Al Bowling from Babylon as well as Tyre. We have the high priest admitting all this. We have it on videotape. It is documented. It is documented. A Luciferian devil worshiper. Already people all over Austin are talking about it. We're not afraid of you. We're not afraid of your minions. But we're waking your minions up every day with the hardcore evidence. We know your father met 11 times with Bill Clinton in 91. The whole thing was stage managed. We understand you've been helping to sell this country out, Bush. And we're going to expose you and your Luciferian rights. We're going to expose your criminal activity at the Bohemian Grove. We have the video tape. This is a massive story. One of the stories of the century. One of the stories of the century. How you had the Luciferian cult for 121 years in Northern California. I went inside for the cremation of care. I witnessed the entire debacle. Many of these secret service agents have been in. No doubt protecting these people inside of this system. As we near the end of this film, it's important to understand that we did... discover my voice I discover something else new today I am just experimenting with all of the things that I got I don't have much but it's something that I could make the best of for me it's just gonna be different projects up ahead that's where my workings will be working behind the scenes and trying to fight for my freedom. I am being exploited by bad people and I am going to take action now because I am sick of their bullshit. Mika, you know who the fuck you are. 
Everybody fucking knows about you. I let this fucking slide for so many fucking years. It's been four fucking years since you got in contact with me in Facebook. And you are a psycho sociopath that I've never ever met such someone who is very childish I do not understand why you do your behavior the way you send bullshit to me every fucking single day in my email I am aware what you are doing but the thing is that I really dig and give a fuck about what you were trying to send or what you were trying to say because on the day that I was supposed to go to Europe I canceled because I only known that some fucking stupid alcoholic that drinks about 30 to 50 fucking beers a fucking drinking session and you fucking drink you over fucking drink and you get so fucked up that you're fucking falling on your stupid fucking ass and you don't know what the fuck you're doing and I bet you you fucking act like a fucking stupid retarded bitch that you are because you think you are fucking popular with your shit Zazel band and you think you are a fucking lord Lord shit Nakia, if you want to say fucking Santa Nakia, you fucking give a shame to that fucking name. Seriously, dude, what the fuck is your problem? Another female that got in contact with me told me what you are about, that you sexually assaulted her, and fucking you made her cry home, and you fucking did something to her mind that's going to be with her for the rest of her fucking life. And you want to fucking send all this bullshit of fucking stupid male products of fucking trying to cure your erection, which I do not give a fuck about because that's all you fucking are is you fucking think with your dick and you don't even have a fucking brain. You have shit for brains. You can't fucking think straight. You are so fucking senile the way you fucking act. And I don't understand why you're so fucking pathetic in doing such behaviors, dude. Really. This has gone too fucking far so long that I really didn't even give a fuck to pay attention to you. And then you want to fucking harass me every fucking single day with fucking stupid dating sites with fucking stupid male products and all these fucking suspicious emails saying do you remember me? do you want to be with me? do you want to have sex with me? no I fucking don't dude if I fucking had the chance I would fucking chainsaw your fucking dick and shove it up your fucking throat and fuck your ass with the fucking shotgun tip. Seriously, dude, you act fucking way worse. You are a bad case of fucking retard. A fucking stupid fucking fat tard. That you like to fucking make sexual contacts or sexual advances at me. But then, dude. You don't know my torture tactics. You don't know what goes on my, in my mind. It's just the mental kill. Seriously, dude. I would have fucking destroyed you a fucking million times, even a billion times over, if I can fucking just reenact and fucking slaughtering your fucking dumb ass that is so fucking offensive. And since all these bullshit that you had been sending me for four fucking years 
when it's been over four fucking years. And you want to just fucking act like it's okay. No, it's not fucking okay what you are doing. Because what you are doing is that you are exploiting and abusing your privileges to send bullshit my way. And I don't know what the fuck kind of friends. Because I know you're fucking known by a bunch of fucking idiots. That you fucking have like your little fucking bullshit friends that want to fucking send spoofing decepting messages to my fucking inbox well guess what dude I fucking saved every fucking single email and I keep threatening that I fucking want to send through ic3.gov which is a website where you can submit in a minute internet crimes and complaints of deceptive messages it's been a long fucking time since I've had collected all your mails your emails and organized every fucking single one because I'm too fucking busy to put up with their bullshit or keep up with their fucking bullshit that doesn't make no fucking sense to me and you want to fucking act like a fucking Three-year-old? No, 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 no. You're not a fucking three. You act worse than a three-year-old with your fucking tantrums. Fucking sending bullshit to my way. Better yet, you act like you're a fucking six-year-old that cannot handle rejection from women. And you gotta fucking go against their free will just because you fucking get rejected from women. And you're fucking so insecure. And you fucking have low self-esteem. You will never have anything going good for you. You need some fucking serious help with rehab with alcohol. I bet you you fucking shove alcohol up your ass with the tube. So that way you can fucking feel it, huh, bitch? I ain't fucking scared of you, Mika. I'm fucking sick of everything that I had to fucking put up with your BS every fucking single day. And you know what, dude? I got the time now. I'm going to be in your fucking face. And I'm going to show the world that you do not want anybody else to see. Because I'm sick of hiding. You fucking ruin it for me on social media. I can't even fucking express how I feel. Or if I want to enjoy some time on Facebook or on the internet. Without this fucking clock trying to interfere with me all the fucking time. And you always want me to fucking notice you that a fucking weak bitch that does have no fucking dick or no fucking balls. And you fucking prove yourself a fucking weak man, dude. Seriously, you need to fucking get over yourself already. By your behavior, you deserve to be put behind bars. Maybe for at least a year. Because this internet abuse that you are causing towards my way you make me fucking angry every fucking single day you fucking drive me insane dude like I told you you are far worse than my fucking first ex who fucking drove me insane dude seriously you need to fucking stop and I'm fucking putting my foot down now I'm reporting your ass and I'm gonna fucking submit those fucking reports that you are doing illegally and breaking international law because what you are doing is cyber stalking, cyber abuse, spiritual abuse, sexual abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse, and you know what? A person can only fucking take so fucking much, dude, when they fucking... When you push that limit, you think you can fucking push me around as a woman. But why don't you fucking be a real man and fucking push around a man? Why are you fucking scared? Because you don't want your ass to get fucked up? I could already tell by the time I was talking to you that one time if I did go to Europe, 
I would know that I would get so fucking drunk and you get so fucking drunk that either one of us would have killed each other physically because you drink every day and sometimes when you are in that alcoholic state when you're in fucking anger it fucking multiplies a thousand fucking times in emotion and I would have fucked you up a long time ago and I already had seen this happening before it happened so that's the reason why I fucking did not want to go to Europe because stranger in a strange land I was in a foreign land and if something would have happened to me I wouldn't have known where to go I don't even know how to call the police I don't know where the fucking where the stores are at I don't know where the fucking hotels are at so I could stay safe away from you because you probably already fucking physically harmed me this fucking stops you prove yourself as a sexual offender and that name fits you perfect you probably need to lose some fucking weight with that fucking beer belly of yours with fucking disgusting hair all over it and your alcoholic stench of negative odor because you're fucking sweating excessively because of alcohol and your fucking sweat I could only imagine why nobody wouldn't want your fucking stupid crusty disgusting ass you you are a fucking ghoul a fucking troll who is disruptive and you will pay for your behaviors because you send mental anguish towards my way just because you don't get your fucking way and the only way is to tell you that you're gonna fucking get busted you wanna fucking create malice and trouble towards my way Believe me, my karma is fucking deadly. And I hope fucking karma fucks you in the ass with a fucking dry cactus. Because that's what you fucking deserve. Now is the word of bold. Fuck off and die. And I gladly feed on your suffering. And I hope you are suffering with these feelings that only haunt you and never brings you the way you want things to turn out. You are fucking manipulative. You are fucking immature and you are fucking insecure. You are fucking weak and I wish that in my most powerful way in mental torture is my signature to tape dynamite on your chest and explode your fucking ass away destructively like the fire explosion so I am just saying that it's gonna burn and hurt you inside the most when you see me with another man and believe me I already got one in line suffering jealousy and misery because that's all you fucking worth dude bye bitch bastard pig swine ogre it's gonna be fucking funny haha ha.